I have a reservation. <laughs> Hello? It's like a little bit awkward. <laughs> New York seems like a pretty romantic place, right? I don't know. It's not really a secret that I'm miserable at romance, but for Valentine's Day, I wanted to make a special effort to find the most romantic spot in New York. I've traveled to Tokyo and visited a lot of the love hotels there, so I'm very skeptical that, that America could beat that. But let's visit the meatpacking district in New York City to check out the only love hotel that I could find and see what happens. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today's adventure is what I did in Japan, except now in New York, which is a lot harder to find love hotels in New York. So I'm waiting for my friend. But happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Happy Valentine's Day. This is the Valentine's Day special. Valentine's Days have been not fun for me the last few years. I made a reservation online. It was $90 for two hours, which is insanely expensive, and I really hope it's worth it in the end. And this is the only love hotel I think I found in New York. It's like, it's already awkward that her and I are going in. It would be very awkward if I waited by myself, I feel like. Okay, I got my Valentine. It's nothing too glamorous on the outside. I wonder if there's an apple pie. I have a reservation. What's that? We're off to an awkward start. After flipping through his notepads, he couldn't find my reservation, so he asked me several times what my name was and when it was for. Talk about unromantic. I made it online. Fortunately, we abandoned the reservation idea and he just gave us a room. So after we got our room number, we went up and I know 12.30 in the afternoon on a Friday isn't the normal time to go to a love hotel. So the cleaners were up and about cleaning everything. Um, yeah, the romance is still lacking. <laughs> this looks cool. Ooh. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> it's kind of small for $90 for two hours. <laughs> okay, so there's a fake candle. First impressions is that it smells like it's been very sanitized. So no worries there. So this is the New York Love Hotel experience. The smell of the cleaner was extremely overwhelming. Interesting. We're gonna explore the ins and outs of this hotel, but let's get situated. Oh, look, look, we get little chocolates. Nice. All right, we're in, we're in. Which you would think in a love hotel, they would make the bed a little bit bigger. Do you know what I mean? Like that's the primary, it's not even a uh, queen. That's interesting. <laughs> so here's the little bathroom. Everything is very small. <laughs> and then these guys getting on right here. Set in the mood. <laughs> Can't steal remotes. I wonder if they have like a menu or anything. I'm curious to see what their food selection is. Yeah, they have like a bar downstairs. So it's yeah, it's probably not open because of COVID. But I did read online somewhere that they do have like a menu with like all the names of everything. It's very sexual. Yeah. <laughs> um. It smells very, very strong. Do you overwhelming like um, Lysol? Yeah, like it's it's clean because these places have to be clean. I feel. But whenever we went to go sign in, my reservation didn't show up. Like I booked it yesterday, which is kind of weird to book a love hotel. By the way, this is Kayla. <laughs> I just, she's just randomly here. Oh, you got your haircut. Yeah. You? Oh, that's beautiful. Thanks. She's my Valentine. Um, we're having a Valentine's Day together because, okay, I'm single. <laughs> Boys are stupid. Um, Valentine's Day is usually pretty depressing. So I thought we'd do something fun for today and this is gonna be released on Valentine's Day. Okay, we're gonna try and maybe film some TikToks or film something in here to make use of this money because I mean, we're not gonna 
do anything else. I mean, there's not really a lot to show, to be honest. I thought it would be bigger. So I read online that they had some vending machines with stuff, so we wanted to check those out, but it was kind of awkward going back down the stairs. But I explore what for you. Vending machines? What, what, what that? Vending machines? Don't yeah. Thank you. We have a uh, freshman. There's only really one vending machine and all it had was some snacks and condoms. It didn't really have a big selection like I thought that it would. We're gonna fight. And we have the biggest fight of all. I will never stop fighting. I will fight like hell. <laughs> smell, if you're sensitive to smells, it's so strong in here. Like, it's a big turnoff for me. I don't think we're gonna do it. No. I have made up my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to an actual real hotel. I don't really understand the purpose. I understand the purpose in Japan, but I don't understand the purpose here. Yeah, because when you can you can get a hotel, you can get a nice hotel for the same amount of money for, for the whole, whole night. For the whole night. For the whole night. For the whole night. Is, oh yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's the vending machine selection. Yeah, I wonder how much business they really get. Who's finding this? And, I mean, how many? <laughs> we need to investigate this more. <laughs> We're going to become the new love hotel experts of New York City. For a love hotel, you want to set the mood, but this isn't setting the mood for me. Like, I'm not feeling it. What are you, like, cut and dry, like, two hours in and out? Oh, yes! We, there, there's a, there's oh. a, okay. we can play some music. Yeah, box. I wish we got one of the, there are rooms that have jacuzzis. The guy looked at us like we were crazy. He's like, why are you here? We're, like, <laughs> I'm, like so excited. excited and, like, <laughs> so we got some chocolates. She's mm -hmm. vegan, so she's not gonna partake, but I will. I do too like the, this Chelsea area. There's a lot of like cute little like stores to mm -hmm. go in. And, like, <laughs> Where's this black leather stool? An exercise seat. <clears throat> For your enjoyment, this room contains a special black leather stool. Lay it on the bed, unfold it, and use it to position your body while performing your favorite exercises. What? <laughs> but please never oh, use it. There it is. Let's uh oh my god, let's try it. So we need to demonstrate what all comes with your ninety dollars for two hours. Our nice this is our like it's just white and black, that's all we really wear. Let's put this bad boy up here. I'm assuming this is very cleaned. <clears throat> Yeah, do you like lean back on this? <laughs> Go ahead. Show it how, show how it's done. Is that right? <laughs> do like a workout. Yeah. <laughs> do you like, uh, like this? Yeah. Or maybe. Oh, maybe not. Oh. Mm. <laughs> There's lots of different ways. Yeah. Yeah, let's try different lighting. Oh, yeah. You belong here. <laughs> oh. Slippers for both of us. Oh, what's this? Cute. We only We only deserve the best. Oh, my sock already, and these are brand new. <laughs> Trying to find some mood setting music on this radio. You see me? I'm in a there wasn't really an option to play music except for an outdated aux cord, so we just had the FM radio. Uh, this is us making a thumbnail, and but when I say content, I mean like TikTok. So we've been making content in here. Um, it's we have one a uh, half an hour left. I wouldn't say like, yeah, I know this great place. Uh, I wouldn't. I don't know why anybody would want to go to kind of a. It's not horrible. It's clean, but I don't know why you'd spend that much money for two hours. You can't beat capsule hotels and love hotels from Japan. You just can't do it. Because I mean, this is a cool bed. Yeah. That's solid bed colliding. Kayla is a DJ and I'll put her links below. You can't use a love hotel also to take a nap because people that are like commuting in from outside the city. I'm gonna look up nap pods. Nap pods. Let's see if that's <laughs> really My hair looks really weird though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. There. <laughs> 
but I hope you enjoyed uh, <laughs> with this girl's butt right in the background. Hope you enjoyed this love hotel experience. I should censor that out. Happy Valentine's Day from us to you. You can be single. Just like us. Shop at a love hotel <laughs> in New York City and oh, oh. Your time is up. Your time is up, young one. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, okay, thank you. We have 15 minutes still. In Japan, they have this thing where when you go into the love hotels, you pick the room on a screen, you don't see the person um, that takes- Receptionist? Yeah, you don't see the receptionist at all. Here, we had to give them our IDs, we had to um, give a $20 deposit, we had to sign papers and stuff, and I'm like, okay, well. He's on the DL, I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's not, it's like a little bit awkward because he, he looked at somebody's like, I'm like, what else can we take? I always like to take as much things as possible. Oh, I don't really like that soap. It doesn't smell good. I'm gonna take these alcohol wipes. <laughs> Let's go get judged again. Thank you. That's how you do it. <laughs> what, six and a half? Yeah, we had a good yeah, time, I feel like. 10 out of 10 vibe. So after our lovely romantic love hotel date, we got some blue bottle coffee, which I think is the best coffee. Comment below if you agree. And then we went and visited the new Penn Station just to look at it because we were already in the area. Kayla has treated me better than any guy has ever on Valentine's Day. We got, we got flowers. We got flowers here. It's truth. Get you, get you a girl is all that I have to say. home now for my Valentine's Day. Oh fuck, the sidewalk is closed. Um, that's the only love hotel that I could find in New York City and I explore so you don't have to. I know if you guys are single out there, if you guys sat on Valentine's Day, don't be. I'm right there with you and this day can be a little depressing sometimes but it's all right. Even with people in relationships, it can be depressing because a lot of times like you're not, you're not treated like you should so, be. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you guys very, very much. Thank you for coming on this adventure with me and spending Valentine's Day with me. Make sure you stay extraterrestrial. Where's the sidewalk? Uh, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.